Welcome back, everybody. This is this afternoon's Waterbox Live. Yep. We got a really cool episode for you guys. If you haven't already, smash that like button. Absolutely. Subscribe to the channel and hit those notifications because we are here every week. You can see there, me and Jess are also on Instagram, so you can follow around along with some behind the scenes stuff too. Yep. I mean, you don't want to miss out on notifications because we are here twice a week. Lots of good stuff always going on, so yes. don't want to miss out on that. And we're going to talk about lighting today. Yes. Because you can't have coral without a proper light. So picking the right one from the beginning is A, going to make you more successful, but also save you a lot of money. Yeah. You're not upgrading later. So, yeah. um, you know, it's very important to start out on the right foot with lights if you're going to be doing a reef tank. But yep. So we're going to give you guys all the details on that today. We are giving away a couple things on today's show, so make sure you engage with us in the comments. Again, smash that like button. Um, we're giving away a $100 gift card. Yep. One shirt. One shirt. Plus, we also have a huge giveaway at the end of the series. Mm, yes. um, it's the Reef LX 190.4, so our four-foot Reef LX. Um, it's valued at over $5,000. You yes. don't want to miss out on this. It doesn't cost you anything to join. If you head over to waterboxaquariums.com forward slash huge, you're going to get all the details on that. So when you, when you hop over there, you're going to get... You're going to fill out the form. They're going to pull it up for you here in just a second. There so there you go. you go. It's waterboxaquariums.com forward slash huge. Scroll down the page. You're going to get all the details on the giveaway. You're going to fill this form out. When you fill the form out, you're going to get a bunch of social actions that you can perform. Yep. What are social actions? It's basically subscribing to us on YouTube, which you should have done already, by the way. Um, <laughs> Boom. <laughs> you got told. <laughs> but uh, follow us on Instagram. Follow Living Reef on Instagram. There's a bunch of stuff. You can do there, you can buy some swag, but also we do a bonus entry code every episode. So yep. sometime today, we're gonna give, during this episode, we're gonna give you a bonus entry code that gives you 10 extra entries into the uh, giveaway. Yep, so that's a good part about watching live and watching the whole thing is you'll get that extra entries. And we also wanna say um, Living Reef, who is doing the coral and fish in the Reef LX, mm -hmm. also has given for this whole series um, a coupon code for you guys. So check them out. You got to use the code WBLX320 at checkout and you get 10% off all livestock. So this is corals and inverts. They ship all throughout the US. Yeah. Um, Take advantage know, of it. Definitely I check highly it out. Suggest taking advantage of it. They have amazing stuff. They're right here in our hometown, mm -hmm. Central Florida. So show them some love. They did sponsor this whole build, very generous. Yes, so. and on that uh, giveaway page also, there is the uh, links to all the episodes of this build so far. We'll post each new one. And it's also documenting all the corals and stuff that are going into here yeah. so that you can keep track. And um, if you go to Living Reef's website, they also have a LX tab yeah. that they're putting all the stuff in. So you go right to their page and you can see everything that's going into the LX. And it's an easy, okay, I saw that coral, I want it, there you go. And then you have mm -hmm. the coupon code for 10% off. So definitely check them out, give them some love, they're amazing yeah. over there. And if you're in Central Florida, definitely head over and, and check out their store. They have one of the best stores um, in the country, in my opinion. Huge selection of corals, fish, inverts, yep. uh, equipment, et cetera. They are awesome. Yeah. So um, I think last week we added some stuff into the LX. So we, you know, go back and watch that episode if you missed it. They sent some beautiful corals. So now, to have looking corals, good. It's looking very yes, good. Yes, you'll get to see it in a little bit. Um, to have corals, you have to have the light. Yes. So, I mean, that's what we're all here about today. And, you know, going in, you get your tank, and you're like, what in the world am I do for lights? There's all these choices, all these brands, all these sizes, spectrums. Like, you know, it's very it can be overwhelming. Pretty daunting. Yeah. yeah, and to get the right one, and you're like, okay, well, this one's cheaper. Should I just start there? Um, but if you don't get the right one from the beginning, that cheaper one. You're gonna buy in the right one, and now it you just happens. spent all that extra yeah, money. It always happens if you try to go, you know, with the cheap, the cheap version in the mm -hmm. very beginning. Especially if you're keeping coral, they yeah. always end up having to go back and then rebuy the lighting, which is why we've partnered who with we, you know, Ecotech AI. Mm -hmm. So yep. So there's a few things you want to kind of consider when you're thinking and starting to look through your lighting choices, and we have a little video for you on that. A guide to large reef aquariums. We're talking LED lighting for the Reef LX 320.7. Corals require a certain spectrum and intensity of light in order to grow and maintain color. LEDs are the most popular choice in LED lighting due to the low heat production, wide spectrum, controllability, and longevity of the bulbs. The width and height of the aquarium also determines which LED light to choose as every LED fixture has a set coverage area. 
Ecotech is the leader in LED lighting with the Radeon G5s. The Radeon HEI lenses deliver the light uniformity and color mixing of halide T5 combos without sacrificing the power and efficiency of the LEDs. The new LED clusters available in Pro or Blue equal increased light spread, better coral coloration, and growth. Radeons are available in two sizes, the XR15 and XR30, both available in Pro or Blue spectrums. The Mobius app makes controlling your Radeon lights extremely easy, along with the rest of your Ecotech equipment. We are using four XR30 G5 Blues on the Reef LX 320.7. There good, you have it. Good starter points to kind of guide you yeah. in the right direction of how yeah. to kind of size and consider for your lighting. Because every tank is a little bit different. It's not necessarily going to need the same light as your friend's tank or whatever, depending on size and corals right. and stuff that you want to keep. Um, and then we also put together like a little bit of a thing for the, the lights that we use and, and carry, mm -hmm. um, with a, considered in our, all of our plus editions, how to kind of figure out which one of those is your best bet. So. We have some quick slides that'll kind of give you a good breakdown between the three light types that we do. Cool. So your best choice is going to be the Radeons. It's mm -hmm. what we're using here on this system. Um, they're controlled through the Mobius app along with all the Ecotech compatible stuff. It has the largest variety of color channels and spectrum of all yeah. the options out there. XR15 is great for like the small to medium size aquariums, soft and LPS corals, 24 inches and shorter. Um, and then, you know, max spread is 24 by 24, but really if you're looking to do like the SPS, keep it to like the 18 by 18. Yeah. And for your XR30s, this is going to be great for SPS dominant or large aquariums. Um, think tanks that are over 24 inches tall, over 24 inches wide. The, um, if you know you're going to, hey, I'm going to get a bigger tank, might as well invest in those. So you're not buying lights twice again, because they'll right. be able to grow with you. And then, you know, the spread on those is 32 by 32. If you're doing SPS, you know, dense, you want to keep that to like the 24 by 24 footprint on yeah. those. And if you look at the corals that we're, you know, we're getting these corals from Living Reef, their farm mm -hmm. uses radions, right? Yes. So you can see right there, all these corals are being grown under the radions. Mm -hmm. So it's a radions great are definitely the most, the, the most widely used when it comes to coral farms retail stores mm -hmm. and like high-end aquariums because they do, they are the best. Yeah. Um, as far as controllability and stuff like that. And we're gonna show you kind of how you can control them on the Mobius in a little bit, how simple they are. Now a good option, we'll say better, you know, that was the best, this is better, is the um, Aqualumination, Aqualumination Hydra 32s. Mm -hmm. We use these on a lot of our builds. Yeah, and, very popular. Um, very popular, love them. They are gonna be through the My AI app. So it's going to be a different controlling mm -hmm. um, that can also control like your Nero's and stuff along with it. Yep. These are going to be for tanks that are 24 inches um, or less in height, medium to large size tanks for mixed reef. Um, you know, you're going to, if you want to go with SBS tank, it should probably be on a medium size, like, because the spread of that's like 20 by 20. Yeah, yeah. So if you're not going to cover as much area for a dense SPS yeah, system. And that's why with the <laughs> Reef LX, we, we put the XR 30s over it. Because it is 30 inches front to back deep, mm -hmm. it's also 24 inches tall, especially on this system since we're doing a lot of SPS. Yeah. You know. But, you know, the Hydras for that, like at the, the 220 that we had at the office, which is mixed reef, mostly soft and LPS, that one had the Hydras on it, worked great. They're going to be more cost effective than the Radions, but you'll not get the same color spectrum or controllability. Mm -hmm. Now, there is a definite color pop to the Radeon tanks yeah. versus the Hydras as yeah. far as when you kind of see them side by side. They're great light and also um, pricing. You know, if that's a major consideration, those are a great choice to go with. Yeah, I think you got to look at, you know, a, a couple of different things. You know, what type of corals you're looking to, you know, to, to keep mm -hmm. and also what's your budget because yes. you can do a lot with the Hydro 32s, a lot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's still our best-selling light over our tanks. So, yeah. you know, in regards to lighting, it's not, not a bad way to go. If you're considering putting the 32s over a Reef LX, just go for the less light-demanding corals. Yeah, you're you not going to do a high-demand, like, yeah. SPS or anything, usually with the hydras from that, just because of the size and the depth yeah. and width of um, the Reef LX. But, I mean, we use the hydras on 
our all our peninsula sizes, yep. good choices, you know, that kind On of the stuff. Reefs, so the reef series, the reefs frag are great. Series, yep. um, so now good. Kind of going with more on the basic of here is going to be the Aqua Illumination Prime 16 HD, also controlled through the My AI app along with AI Nero's. This is going to be good for smaller tanks, definitely 24 inches or less in height. They're not going to penetrate down as far as your Hydras and your Radions. They're going to be for small to medium size for mixed aquariums, you know, softies, LPS, nothing more than like a 20 by 20 space for each one. Yeah. If you really are determined to use this for an SPS system, the coverage is like 16 by 16, but still not your best choice. I don't think so the output is good. You basically keep a cap under, like a monopora. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you One can do... One <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. In like a cube 10 <laughs> with a prime, you could do some SPS in there because it's going to have the, the lower height and the footprint of the tank. It yeah. works. But don't try it on larger aquariums. Um, these are also cool because they have a freshwater version as yeah. well that we use on a lot of ours. And this is gonna be the course the most cost effective. It's the cheapest of the lights. It's great for all in one um, all in one aquariums. The marine Marine X. The marine yeah. X is good. The cubes, that kind of stuff, they're a great choice for yeah, that. We also because use you don't them. wanna also take a ten cube and put a Hydra thirty two or an XR, you yeah. know, fifteen on it's it and necessary. a nuke it. <laughs> so it does have a great place, but just don't try primes on a larger tank. I think you're really going to get with it unless you're like full out soft corals, really low light. Yeah, and also, companion. just so you guys know, we do also offer the prime freshwater on some of our smaller systems as well as our clear systems yeah. for freshwater. And we've also done a lot more homework than that for you on the lighting. So if you guys yeah. were shopping for a water box and you're on waterboxaquariums.com, you're like, I don't know what lights to get. But we did the homework, so if you're on, a, like say you're on the Reef LX, you can just hit plus the plus edition, mm -hmm. and it's, we've already pre-determined how many lights you need along with the mounting arms yeah. for those. So if you're shopping for a water box, look for the plus edition. The lighting's already pre-configured. You know, see on a lot of our models that have the option where hydras or the radions will work. Yeah. It has both available, so you can see the differences mm -hmm. um, on it. But and then of course the smaller tanks, it's just the prime that's paired with it. Because you really, I mean, you could. I've seen people with XR15s <laughs> on a Q20, yeah. and like if you're going full out SBS and that, I mean, of course that'll work for you. But it's just not the majority right. of use for that. Right. So, um, but it's come a long way it has. about lighting. So, Think back to the days of metal halides where you're yeah. having to use a chiller and you're, you're power compacts. burning your arms. It's called power you're, compacts. They're probably yeah. even older. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. yeah, if you've done this from like the beginning of the time, um, not that we're that old, but you know, <laughs> kind of. Since the beginning of time. <laughs> <laughs> Since, you know, um, it, it, kind of, it all started with power compacts, which I don't even know if those are really made anymore. I don't think so, but like super low, low output. Even in like small aquariums, like yeah. it was just barely, you know, softies, maybe LPS. You had like one color spectrum that you could put in there. White and blue. White like and blue. Basically, right? If you got really lucky, like you could get a half and half on your one bulb. <laughs> um, and there was no features. You guys are it so was spoiled. It was like a you push a button on or off. Yeah. And you can put it on a, a manual timer into your wall. I mean, that's basically how simple it was. Then metal halides definitely took over to be one of the more popular. This thing's 250 watt, 400 watt halides, super hot. You got yep. fans blowing in over them. You got fans blowing on your sump. You've got a chiller. Like your tank's still 82 degrees. Your electric bill is $500. <laughs> right. um, you know, but they did. They grew coral really nice. They kept especially they SPS coral colors they were did. amazing. Um, then came T5s, which were a good improvement. Yeah. Um, but LEDs kind of took over, and there's a lot of reasons. I mean, they're yeah. super Efficient. controllable. Yeah. Uh, they have the timers and everything built into the apps that you use with them. Basically, no heat. They have little tiny built-in fans you can't even hear that take mm -hmm. away any of the heat that they need. Um, and you can play with the spectrum of the color to That's meet exactly huge. what you want to do. Like, it's endless. Whenever you get something like the Radeon or the Hydras, like, the color spectrum, your time per day, and what you want to do with it is absolutely endless possibilities. Yeah, they've, the LEDs have come really far. I remember, you know, when they first came out, it was... I think it was a bit challenging for guys that have been keeping coral for a long time to get the same results that they were seeing from halides. Mm -hmm. But the radions specifically and the hydras have come so far and yeah. the way that they, you know, the light spread and the, you know, the different components that they put in them to make sure that the light's kind of replicating 
getting very close to like what the halides used to do. They do now. But with way less power, way less yeah. heat, way less, you know, they're so much more efficient and the LEDs last forever. Um, the, and the technology just keeps getting better. It does, because when they first came out, the LEDs, uh, I want to say about 13, probably about 13 years ago, the first LEDs for like the home aquarium and the fixtures came out. Yeah. And it wasn't great. Mm -hmm. It wasn't, and it wasn't the ecotech that was past like um, that, but it, the results weren't there. So it took a long time for it to develop to be where it is better than all the other options. Yeah. And you know, it's very widely used and quite affordable now in comparison to what it used to be. Yeah. You guys may not have seen them, but I remember the first uh, aqua illumination lighting. Do you remember those? It was actually like a, as long as the tank. <laughs> yeah. It wasn't like modular where it's like one unit, two unit, three. Yeah, and you had the It was like, I buy like a 48 inch had a lot fixture. Of in yeah, it. yeah, that yeah. was the first, first generation. The, and actually, in the Ecotech headquarters, you can see those. They have them in like glass cases. <laughs> the relics. <laughs> yeah, the relics. <laughs> the yeah, original. all the way back to like the first MP40 or whatever. It's That's pretty cool. awesome. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely come a long way, and it's nice to have such easy to use options now. You know yeah. that are that are available. So match it perfectly in any tank. Mm -hmm. Kind of set it up. Um, I think I'm going to show you a little bit onto the Mobius app with the Radions, just to show you how easy it is. I got to turn on a computer. Um, how easy it is to control your lights with this. So it's getting into it and you're like, I don't want to have to have to get into this app and figure out my light spectrum mm -hmm. and do all of that. Super easy. Um, so I'm going to fire up our Mobius app here. I'm going to show you real quick. I'm going to go back to... So you can have here, so we have our Frag and the Reef LX 320.7 on here. We're going to click on over here. And I'm going to give us our home screen. So you see at the bottom, you have your little sun. That's your lights where you can control them. And I'll also show you here is also our flow. So your vectors, your MPs. When the verse, when we get a verse on here, that's mm -hmm. going to be on there as well. So pretty much all of your Ecotech equipment is going to be on here and fully controllable. Love it. So for your lighting, one number one thing is, especially if you're getting going, is you really don't want to have to like, make your own schedule. Right. Like, okay, do I want 65% blue and 45% UV and how much red and all that stuff? So it's gone to be completely simplified. Here you go, if you go down to your templates, and this is why I suggest anyone just getting going does, is you easily just going to pick, and you can use the little slider, or you can actually click up here, and it'll bring up your time. You can set your time. I'm gonna say our tank's gonna wake up at 10 a.m every 11 a.m. every day. All right, I'm gonna go, let's have it go to 6 p.m. So you set your start and end time, whatever Super it works simple. for you. And now you go into your set button. And here are templates already pre-selected for lighting schedules and percentages that are proven to work. Ecotech has our expert series. Mm -hmm. A lot of people use, have built and designed these certain ones to meet what you need. So you got your AV Plus, you got like LPS Soft, which is great. Um, AV Plus is extremely popular for mixed tanks and um, SBS. Yeah, a lot of guys using that. Looks that a lot like the T5, that mm -hmm. color spectrum, you know, that you want for that. And all you would have to do, if you decide, okay, I want to use AV Plus, you hit activate at the top, and it's gonna do 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 do. And you now have this, you don't have to touch a single thing. Yep. And that's the way to do it. Unless you were like into this and you really want to start fine tuning your lights, stick to one of the templates. They have descriptions on them. You can go on to Ecotech's expert thing, mm -hmm. look at what, who uses what. Um, now, if you do want to get really nitty gritty with it, you surely can. In your middle of your thing here, you got the edit button. This is going to show you. So this is our AB plus that it's set at now. We can go in and you just basically hit like that little bar where you want it. And it's just showing you here. You get as Everything is, as right now, is 100%. Your point intensity is 100. Now, say, okay, I like the color, but it's a little bit too bright. I'm gonna show the tank here. So at the top, you can simply keep that spectrum and bring your intensity down. So I'm going, there's 78. So this is bringing the intensity of all the channels down. Yeah, so the, the color, mix is staying the same, 
We're just bringing the intensity down. And it's hard to tell on this kind of stuff. But see, it's going darker see, on yeah. the aquarium. Um, there. Now, if for whatever reason you ever wanted to, like... You lost your camera. Yeah. There you go. So you can change your spectrums. You can save that. But honestly, most of the time, I don't really suggest doing this because you don't need to usually fine tune it that much. And I'm just going to back out of here. It's not going to save anything because I'm not hitting save. I'm going to go just go back to the home screen. Um, the more you probably mess with that fine tuning is going to get you in trouble. Yeah. Unless you really know For what sure. you're doing with your stuff. <laughs> um, so I don't suggest trying to touch every single type and change percentages throughout the day and stuff. I would stick with those preset ones, um, you know, until maybe you're more advanced into it and you're like, ah, I really want to pop just a little bit more blue or just something like that in that time frame. And what do fish want to have a party though? I know. Do we have the camera back up? So on the front, you have like a couple of different modes. We've got feed mode, which is great for your pump and stuff like that. Um, and if you're ever having a party at your house and you want your fish to join along, they have a fun little thing called color cycle. And I don't know what the true point of this is otherwise. Just, to, yeah, I think it's just for fun if the fish want to have a rave or something. Yeah, you know. <laughs> the fish are raving, <laughs> give them seizures. Um, but it goes through like all the different mixes of colors and individual, like I guess I don't know what the point is, but it's kind of fun to watch it. Um, <laughs> Back in the early days of aqua illumination, like their their early generations, they had a disco mode. They were like, yep. it was like strobes going off. It was yep. like wild. So it kind of helps like slowly go through them. And then there's also like live demo where if your tank, say your tank's off right now or your lights are off, it's not their time. Or you want to just show someone like, okay, look at this coral, but you're only going to see it under more white light. Mm -hmm. You can go to live demo. That'll stop color thing here and just change it from there. Or just you just pull pick what you want on. and it's gonna do it temporarily. Okay. So super easy. That's really mobius. You can get more in detailed into your lighting, but honestly you do yourself a favor, pick a template. Yeah. Pick your on and off time and just let it ride. Because yeah. they're proven. You know, so no reason to mess with something that's pretty proven. And that's what we do here is we use for the most part on the Radeons, use a pre-selected template. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's because the easiest it, it way to go. Because it always has worked, yeah. um, and re our results are good on it. Yeah. And what's really neat um, about the Mobius system is it uses Bluetooth LE, so all of the devices within your network are communicating with each yep. other. So it's what creates what's called like a thread network. So it just it's a really seamless, you know, kind of process, mm -hmm. especially if you have all Ecotech equipment, which we do on this thing. Yeah. Perfect. So. All right, if we have any questions, I think we'll do that. Oh, we have a ton of questions. I know. I did see a lot of questions come in. Make sure you guys stick around, too, because we're going to have a bonus word that gets you 10 extra entries. $100 into... gift card and a shirt. Yes. Can't miss that. Ryan says, Frag 165.6, how many lights? Was looking at AI Hydra 32s. May go with Radeon, though. Um, it really depends on what you want to do with it. So it is a shorter aquarium, so there's absolutely no reason that the Hydra 32s wouldn't be a great choice. Our mm -hmm. Frag 165.6 here at the studio, um, I have three of them on it currently, but I'm probably I'm about to put on a fourth of the Hydra 32s, just for the more coverage and also that way any kind of corals we're putting in there and trying to grow out can be yeah. used. The Radions, of course, um, are a, a, a best choice just because I think your I like the color pop of Radeons better. I think your yeah. corals pop a lot. They're just they glow and pop a lot better. Mm -hmm. um, but you could definitely get away with 32s or Radeons. You could even do the XR15s. Really, yeah. if you're not so, doing like a full blown SBS. Yeah. So just so you know, Ryan, if you if you're going to purchase the 165.6 and you choose the Plus HD, that by default is going to come with four mm -hmm. Hydra 32s and four mounts for those. So. If you want to go with Radeons, you can go coverage. purchase them a la carte separately in our supply store. Jo got cut off, so I'll read after. Okay, Joanne uh, says, I would like to know if, if using six XR15 Pro or Blue, would it be better than using three of the XR30 for coverage slash spread of the lights over the reefer LX320.7? He goes on to say, I'm planning to do a light fixture using 8020 aluminum. 
Oh, I, so he's building okay. them into a fixture. Six XR fifteens. I just go with the three XR thirties. It's just simpler. It is. It's simpler. There's gonna be less wires. They're gonna be less ones you have to control. Um, I think you're gonna get better coverage. Not trying to figure out how to space all yeah. of those. Three XR thirties for the three twenty would be good. We have four on ours, but you know. EgoTech is even like just you could go definitely three. That's what yeah, the we actually, bus comes with. Yeah, we actually early on we paired four with the 320, which we're doing on this one because we're going to load this thing with Coral. But the Plus XR with the 320 by default now comes with three XR30. Right. So it's plenty yeah. of coverage. It's yeah. plenty of light. I mean, XR30s are banging. They are bright. They can do anything. Mm -hmm. So um, I think you're just overcomplicating going with six XR15s. Yeah, it's and I don't more think it's going to save more... you any money either. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Cisco says, I only want to get soft coral in Euphelia. What's the minimum lighting I can get for a six foot tank? Uh, would be the Hydra 32s. So you still need the Hydra 32s just because of the span, generally of the height and width of that aquarium. And um, Nothing smaller than that's really going to work. Primes are not going to cover that at all. No. If it was all soft, soft corals, maybe. But you definitely want to go with the Hydra 32s, and I would suggest um, bare minimum three, but suggested four. Yeah, for sure. Max says, how do you decide, be, decide between the pro or the blue? That's a great question. How much blue pop do you like? Yeah. Um, so the blue is going to be a heavier... Uh, density on the blue clusters and like how much blue comes through in the spectrum. And the pro is going to be a little bit less blue. Not, not really on the white side either, but a little bit on that less blue. I personally love blue on corals, mm -hmm. so um, I usually vote for us to use the blues. Yeah, not to say yeah, one with too. the pros too, just yeah. to show a difference, so it's, but it's not a huge difference. I guess it really mm -hmm. depends on how much you want to tinker with the color spectrum, whereas we kind of go like a much simpler, a very simple method with our lighting. We we use the blues, we go A, B plus. Yeah. All the corals look fantastic under it. If you want to do something a bit different where you want to add a lot more white light into mm -hmm. it or something like that, the real reason for the XR, the, the blue edition is because most users early on were going heavy, heavy blue mm -hmm. with the AB plus schedule. Yeah. So it made sense to make a light that would focus heavily on the blue, but mm -hmm. they still have the other option. Yeah. Steven says, can you hang those lights from the ceiling also, or are they mounting arms only? Um, there should be hanging kits. There's hanging kits for, I know for sure on the Hydras. Yeah, there are. They yeah. have them for all of them. It's yeah. just different mounting options. By default, our plus editions don't come with that. We always use the arms. Honestly, um, hanging lights. Well, we're in Florida. Okay, so we're from Florida. Yeah. So our ceilings go like that, and they're really tall. Yeah. So like hanging lights here, it's not it's tough. fun. It's tough because I mean most ceilings are 12, 14 inch, and they're at an incline. So like actually hanging them. Um, but I think the light arms make everything look really sleek. You don't have to worry about like anytime I've trying to hung a light gets crooked or like got wire like I don't it know is, I like it the is a bit the arms. it's definitely more challenging which is why we by default offer the arms because it works for most people yeah if you want to you can also come off the wall like but then you're having to fabricate something to hang yeah. off of uh, it's just a little bit more challenging it's not impossible and yeah. it is an option and it works best for some people but majority it doesn't but they do have the kits for it yeah. salty Vegas says should I add a second AI Prime to my P Mini 25. Um, depends on what kind of corals you're keeping. If you were doing like soft mixed reef, you should be fine. You would center yeah. anything like harder coral wise towards the middle under the light. Um, if you're trying to like blow it out with SBS, you might want to look into a second one or like an XR15 or something like that if you want full SBS, just because it is a little bit longer. Yeah, or I was going to say, if, if the tank's filling in a lot and you think you might need more light, you can always just do a Hydra 32. You can do just Hydra get, 32. you know, get rid of the prime. Yeah, Hydra 32, 32 XR15, yeah. one of those on there yeah. would give better coverage if you're doing like full SBS where you have a lot of shading as your tank has grown in a lot. Yeah. Kit it, 1999. <laughs> Moonlight, yes or no? Doesn't matter. Yeah, they don't care. <laughs> they don't care. I, I mean, for your, if you're around it and it like makes a difference that you can see kind of like... For viewing, yeah. For viewing. Yeah. Um, you know, technically, technically speaking, 
the moonlight feature on something like a radion or whatever is synced to the lunar phases and can replicate natural moon forces in your aquarium that could lead to breeding. Which sometimes can be more troublesome than the trouble that it's worth. I've seen tanks yeah. that breed, and now I'm, I don't know much about it at all, so take my advice with a grain of salt, but I've seen yeah. tanks where like really old mature tanks that they breed and it actually causes a lot of issues because there's so much yeah, yeah, yeah. nutrient build up rapidly, mm -hmm. I guess, from like all the eggs dying and stuff. Yeah, um, so it's really personal. I mean, like personal choice. I don't know if a moonlight is necessarily going to mean my fish are spawning versus not. Getting them to spawn is a whole other thing. Um, whatever you want. Yeah. Viewing pleasure. Viewing that's, pleasure. That's yeah, based on that. <laughs> What's the best LED for freshwater aquariums? The, well, it depends on how big, but the prime freshwater is your yeah. best bet. It works great. Most freshwater tanks, you don't need something super high powerful, um, and you need that proper spectrum. So the prime freshwater is a great choice. And that's what we pair with all of our um, freshwater yeah. plus bundles. So no problem using those. All right. There also used to be a, a Radeon freshwater, which I don't know for sure if that's coming out again, but oh. there used to be one in the G4. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Most people probably didn't know that. No, guess not. <laughs> <laughs> Information of the day. Um, <laughs> all right, we have a bonus word. We're going to go ahead and drop that to you guys now. Oh, bonus word is plus edition. There you go. Guys, head over to waterboxquariums.com forward slash huge, enter that in, you'll get 10 extra entries. Okay. If you want to check out our plus editions, head over to any product page, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see what pairs with it. Perfect. So get your extra bonus for bonus entry points to the giveaway. Um, so talking about lighting, talking about coral, but another thing is we added some more stuff to the LX. We did. So we got to keep it, you know, it's good going home along really nicely. Last week, if you didn't watch it, go back and check it out to see some beautiful stuff that Living Reef Orlando sent us. Um, so all of that got up, put up onto the rocks. And then we moved some more stuff that came from the Dream Build 220. Mm -hmm. That was now in our six foot frag that now has moved over to here. We've been kind of slowly putting stuff over into here from that setup. And it's looking really good. The water's nice and crystal yes. clear. The colors in this tank I love because the fish, they add a lot of life to it. And they also add a tremendous amount of color because you got the tang, the antheas. I love it because it's still very, it's just very clean as far as the rock is very open. There's a lot of open swimming space for the fish, mm -hmm. um, but there's still a ton of room for coral. So like I've kind of made a little in that front lower rock down there is my going to be like a little zoo garden. So I have the three zoanthids. We have like a red hornet and some AIOs or something from Living Reef. So it's going to be like a little rock um, for zoos. Mm -hmm. Let those fill in. Up above that is a little war coral area. And those all came from the 220. Nice. Mango will not get out of the way. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so you'll see some of the stuff moved out from the 220. And then we've got our encrustings up on the front of that big arch chalice. I put in the large wall hammer that was from the 220. He's back there still kind of getting open and settled. We'll see if that's where he likes it. Um, wall hammers are kind of sensitive, so I've got to keep an eye on him if he's happy with his placement. Yeah. The fish think they're getting fed. I know. It's like, hey, guys, who's feeding me? Oh, I see the clownfish found a home. Yeah, they're loving the torch. <sighs> so far, the torch is okay with it, but they're driving me mental. Yeah, these clownfish. They host everything. Yeah. And, everything. And they're brutal sometimes. So. Yeah. So they're right now they're loving their torch friend. <laughs> I have to get him a carpet anemone or something. Maybe they'll leave it away. If the fish will get out of the way, you'll see a beautiful lobo and, a, and some euphelia in there. So we had this huge bubble coral from the 220. This thing was massive. Um, I kind of tucked them back there because it's a little bit lower flow, letting them just fill in kind of an nice. empty void. Um, a lot of the front area is a little bit too flowy for him. I tried him in a few spots and he wasn't as happy. So put him back there. He's loving it. And then on that front lower rock, right, zoom in, make it a mushroom rock. So here we have the Recordia that Liberty Reef sent. Um, a cool spotted mushroom that came from the 220. I'm going to let them fill in and kind of put some cool mushrooms and stuff in Recordia on that I rock. Love, I love when you get like a little Recordia garden. And yes, they just cover exactly. All yeah. So kind of being mindful where things are going just so when they grow in. You know, we got a nice chalice up on the big arch here that came from Living Reef. 
So you got to think about the long term when you're placing Exactly. Them. Like mushrooms are going to get along for the most part and they can fill in that area without hurting other corals. Um, oh, will you go back to left to the little arch in the back? Zoom back there. Oh, yeah. More so left. I remember you tell, yeah. So moved one big Ghani, the big one here, as you see, a clownfish in that too. Um, <laughs> And then the uh, Ganyapora that Living Reef sent. So this little arch that kind of comes from the rock and down is going to be a little uh, Ganyapora garden. I love that. So Living Reef has a ton of beautiful types of Ghanis. Going to have you know a variety put on there and let them all be wavy and colorful. Because if you look at one of the videos from their farm, they have this section that's all Ghanis of grow out, and it's the coolest looking thing. All the colors and tentacles, like lengths and stuff. I see a recurring theme in here that I don't know if you meant to do it or not, but I love it. Is again, you're you're like you're putting all the favias together. You're mm -hmm. putting the the mushrooms together. The you know the for, already forgetting the name. Ganyapora. Yes, Ganyapora. <laughs> Um, together. So yeah, you have like all these little gardens of the, the types of species and yeah, different Yeah, a couple colors. of things like do really well and it's a cool visual when they all grow together. So I'm kind of like trying to group them in that way. Um, we have some stuff here. Go to that very lower coral right there and zoom in. These are our um, orange tip clove polyps. I love those things and they're already starting to grow up the rock. Nice. Put them at the bottom because they grow fast and they're going to just move up that rock. Those are really But as cool. they move up, they're going to encounter a Duncan <clears throat> who's going to make them say, you can't go any further, so they can't take over. Nice. So Look at that. So he's going to let them fill in nicely. You thought of everything. Well, if you're going to grow it out in a large tank, you have to make sure you don't have one coral that takes over. So he's going to meet a couple corals that are going to say, nah, you're going to stop here. Do we, have any, do we have any green branching green stuff? Do we on? do? I think he fell, fell sideways, though. Oh, is it in the back right there? Yes, yeah. Okay. Um, by the to the left of the bubble, but I think he was standing up right earlier. I think I have to glue him down. I just wedged just him into curious, a spot. But yes, you know, the branching did make it. You know, it's my favorite. Got a nice big leather towards the back. <clears throat> that way he's not taking up too much space, but he's got good flow as well, and he's going to fill in kind of a back corner with a lot of bright color. But he's very big. Did that guy come from the frag? He came from the 220. Really? Yeah. So he gets bigger than this, but this way he's not taking up a huge amount of rock space. And he gets to fill in kind of a back corner, which doesn't tend to be as colorful of an area. See if we can find the branching star pops. I think they yeah, fell. It's on the to far, the middle. Oh, it was in the middle? It's not this one on the far left? No, to the middle, behind, to the left of the big bubble in the back. I see him. Oh, there he is. There he is. He fell over. All right. <laughs> branching star pops. Right, cool. Uh, mission, save him later. Um, <laughs> glue him in place. But there is on the very left side of the tank, um, if you go to that end, is... Go to the side. So we have a really cool peach tip torch. Um, yeah, and like then the green star polyps there at the bottom, your favorite. Those are the bright green ones from the 220 as well. Okay. And if you look up kind of middle, that bright orange, that's like a really, really bright orange, um, I think Leptoceros or whatever, yeah, from the 220. Nice little chunk of that towards the back, letting it fill in. Very nice. It's turning out beautiful. It is looking really good. Looking really, really good. Uh, we'll be adding more stuff, of course, and keeping you updated on that. But Wheezy said we should add a scully or a clam. I don't disagree with that at all. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't. Look at all that sand bed. What do you think is going to happen? Yeah, we got to get a clam. There's a lot of sand bed open in there. So, um, I think we could find a squamosa somewhere. Those are hard to find. Mm. We have friends at ORI. We do. It's quite possible. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, but definitely like clams won't happen right away. So no. it's definitely a, a down the road thing. You're going to have a lot of stuff to go in this tank. It's got a lot of room, you know. So yeah. that sand bed will be full of some beautiful stuff as it matures. Awesome. Always slow and steady. Don't go too I fast I saw someone ask for the bonus word. It is plus addition, two words. So. Yep. We announced that one a little bit earlier. All right. I think they're going to pull any questions if there are. No. <laughs> No, Steven said, just put the GSP in the back. Not cool. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> He's referencing me. He's like, not cool. Well, you That's know. All good. As long as it's in there. We have two different ones. So. We have two different ones. And I don't want in like a year that we have a, 
seven foot. You don't want it to be the center. Green piece. star polyp tank either. So <laughs> gotta choose wisely. It's on a back piece that like doesn't connect too much to other parts. So I'm set up like a cube ten or twenty and just star polyps. I'm gonna, just do, that. I'm gonna whole, do that for you as a surprise. That would be awesome. All just right. the whole thing, just carpets. Would anyone like to see a ten gallon, a ten cube uh, star polyp tank only, branching and crusting, yeah, all, all of it? Yeah. Maybe that'd be one of our new thing. Yeah, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. All right. So, all right, we have a shirt winner. All right, so for a Living Reef shirt, winner is... Salty Vegas, you go. Awesome, congratulations. congratulations. Email winners at waterboxofcrayons.com. They'll get you all hooked up with a shirt. Awesome. Yes. We're always giving away good stuff around here, so. We are. It pays to comment and watch and like and subscribe and all those things. If you guys haven't already, Smash that like button. <laughs> you can also gently graze it if you don't want to be so aggressive. <laughs> Subscribe to the channel also. Hit the notification bell because we are here twice a week right now. I don't know so. why that humors me so much <laughs> every single time. That's why I do it. If you don't want to be too aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Are we doing our gift card winner? All right. So our winner, a $100 gift card. Winner is... GSXR Junkie 77. Wow. Congratulations. Woo! We are giving away a $100 gift card every single week on this 320.7 build series. So yep, you got to tune in to out. win. You got to tune in. You got to comment with us. You got to smash that like button. Plus, you get to see a beautiful LX, get some knowledges. Yeah. So we are here twice a week. So make it's sure you do hit your notifications. You don't want to miss any of them. And next week, we're going to talk in particular about soft coral care. Awesome. Different types, care requirements, you know, kind of get more in-depth into that certain type of coral for all you GSP lovers, too. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, turn on those notifications, and for more information on this series, visit waterboxaquariums.com forward slash huge. Tune in live every Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to learn about how you can get more entries to our Reef LX 190.4 giveaway. Plus, we're giving away $100 gift cards every episode, but you have to be with us here live to win. Thanks for watching. See you next week.